What is the white bird called? Spoonbill. Right, it is called a spoonbill. What is the awfully tall bird called? It's called crane. Mm -hmm. What is the crane wearing? It's wearing a red cap. Where does the crane have black feathers? Black feathers on his wings. What is a member of the crane family doing there? He lives here. Why is the spoonbill not happy about the crane living there? Because this is their summer home. What will the other spoonbill try to make with the crane? He then he'll try to make friends with him. Which is the bigger bird, the spoonbill or the crane? The crane. What does the spoonbill think they could be? He thought they could be friends. Right. When does the crane live there? He only lives here in winter. Why hasn't the spoonbill seen the crane before? Because he's only lived here in the summer. Right. How come the spoonbill met the crane this year? They came a little early this year. What's the crane's name? Red Crowned Crane. Does the spoonbill have a big family? No. Why is he sad? Because his family is getting smaller and smaller. What is also getting to the spoonbill both becoming? Their family is getting smaller and smaller. Right. And what are the crane and the spoonbill both becoming? They're becoming rare and rare. What does the crane offer to have with the spoonbill? Eating a lunch. The crane offers to have a bit of lunch with the spoonbill. What does the crane offer to the spoonbill for lunch? Some rice. Mm -hmm. Why can't the spoonbill eat rice for lunch? Because he only eats small sea creatures from the mud. Mm -hmm. What can be the crane also eat? He can eat fish too. Where can the spoonbill and the crane go? They can go over to the nice mud flat. Why do they go over to the nice mud flat? Because they eat lunch. There are some good poles behind the reed bed. What is the spoonbill's biggest problem? Pesticides, herbicides, and industrial pollution. What other problems do they have too? They have less and less space too. Mm -hmm. What does less and less space mean? That means less food. What does the other spoonbill think are their biggest problem? He thinks humans are their biggest problem. What do humans do to spoonbill? They dump all kinds of nice chemicals into their water. What have humans forgotten? They've forgotten that it's their water. What can the spoonbills do? So what are they going to do? They get you rid of humans. Right, they can get rid of humans. What will the spoonbills think about? How to get rid of humans. What did the spoonbill have with the crane? They have lunch. Mm -hmm. What does the spoonbill think of the crane? He thinks he is a really quiet nice. Mm -hmm. What doesn't the spoonbill see? He doesn't see how he can dig with that silly bill. What can the crane do quiet nicely with the bill? It catches sea worms quite nicely. Mm -hmm. What else does the crane like to eat? He likes to eat tubers and he likes red roots too. What did the spoonbill and the crane talk about? About their becoming rare and rare. Who else are also becoming rare? Crane, cranes are too. What is it no good doing? It's no good just talk, talking about. Do the birds think they can get rid of humans? No, they don't think they can get rid of humans. All right. What do they want to do about humans then? They can educate humans. All right. How would they educate humans? They could explain their problems to them. They could ask them not to use pesticides and herbicides. Why are pesticides and herbicides so bad? Pesticides and herbicides harm lots of things. 